Hi, I'm James with Epilogue Laser. Thanks for joining us today. For today's sample club, we've got a fun design for you. Now, this is a Halloween decoration sign that we've cut out of multiple layers of plywood, or you can use MDF. We'll walk you through how to laser cut it, prime it, paint it, and finish it so you've got a great design to use or sell. Now, this sample club can be downloaded as well so you can follow along. This really shows off how you can use multiple layers to really create signage that stands out. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and prep our wood. We're going to be using this x and woodworking tape, and we're going to put this on the back of five of the sheets of wood. Now, we only need to put it on on the areas that we're going to actually be uh, cutting on the wood. So I'm going to put probably about four strips on here. And just as you do that, just uh, make sure that you press down on them at the end, maybe give them an extra press just to make sure that they're nice and flat against that wood. And that should give us a nice adhesive on the back of these. And like I said, just do five of the six. The back piece won't need any. So when we open the file, we can see we've already have our six layers laid out and ready to cut out. We also have up here the final design all put together so we can see how our colors are going to work. Now, if I wanted to try different colors, I can come in here and change them and uh, design this however I want to make it look the way that is going to be perfect for my sign. Now, we're working on a Fusion Pro 2400 watt today. We've got a 24 by 24 inch table. Now our pieces of wood are 20 by 12. So unfortunately it's not wide enough to cut two on each piece of plywood, but we can cut to this direction on the two pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and move those in. And then I'm just gonna lay these out on the table the way I want. And now I can just select those and print them, selection only, over to the laser dashboard. Now, once that comes into the laser dashboard, all I have to do is import my material settings. So I'm gonna be cutting this on three millimeter wood. Let's go ahead and import that. So I've got 25% speed, 100% power, and I'll go ahead and I'm gonna just name this sign parts one and print those over. And now I'm going to repeat that with the other sections as well. So I've got all the parts over at the laser at the same time. So move these off, select my next two. And I'll just quickly move everything into place and print them over that same way. Now, the one thing you do want to make sure is that this final piece here is uh, that's the back piece. So there won't be any double stick tape on that one. So make sure you put in that piece of wood with no double stick tape for the final piece that we send over, which is going to be sign parts three. Let's go over to the laser and see how it comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and move my carriage head out over the uh, piece that I'm going to be cutting, press autofocus, and that'll focus that table to the correct height away from my lens. And now I'm ready to go ahead and start that first job. And we've got all three jobs here at the laser, so we'll just quickly move through each of these. And you can just see that it's going nicely through that. We've got a nice small kerf on it, so I'm happy with these settings. So let's let it run. So now that we have all our pieces cut out, we're ready to start painting. Before we paint it, we're actually going to primer it first. Now, plywood's a really porous material, so we're going to use this Rust-Oleum 2-in-1 filler and sandable primer. Now we'll include a link to that in our description, 
And uh, this was actually suggested by Trevor Wanamaker in our signage masterclass. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that yet, definitely do. Let's go start painting. Here we've got our primer ready to go and all of our pieces laid out. And we're just gonna give these short strokes with the primer to get it nice and even coverage. Now it might take a couple coats to get it all covered depending on your plywood. And I found it's helpful as well to lift it up and make sure you get all of those burnt edges. Uh, this, using that primer and then the paint, is gonna give you really nice edge quality on uh, this and cover up all those burnt edges from the laser. Let's go ahead and move through these quickly. So once that has dried with the primer, you're ready to start painting. Now you could sand that down if you want to. Um, I find that if you use a really high quality paint after this, it's not usually necessary, which is why I use the MTM 94. If you watch my other videos, you know it's my favorite for doing woods and acrylics. It does a really nice job with coverage and you don't get a lot of drips or anything. So we're gonna go ahead and start painting. So now we just need to peel off that double stick tape all the way around on each of the pieces before we assemble it. So now that we've got the tape off the pieces, we can start to apply them together. I'm just gonna carefully line these up and press them down to hold them. And that tape, that wood tape holds together really well. It's a lot cleaner than glue. Now that we've got it all assembled, we're just gonna protect it a little bit by adding a little coat of shellac over the top. And this is just going to help protect that paint and uh, make sure that it holds up over time. So now we have a really great Halloween decoration to hang up in our office. Now the colors on this just really stand out and having the multiple layers really makes it look like a professional sign. If you look at the edges here, you can see we were able to cover up those burnt edges of the wood from the laser cutting really nicely by using that fillable primer and a high quality paint. Now you can use these same techniques in your own signage design. If you're using multiple layers of acrylic or wood or MDF, it really makes your signage product stand out. So I hope you found these tips helpful today and please join us again. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel so you find out when the latest videos are coming out from Epilogue. And be sure to like our videos as well. If you'd like to find out more about Epilogue Laser, visit our website at epiloguelaser.com, fill out the form, and you can set up a hands-on demo with a distributor in your area. Thanks, and have a great day.